What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to start to build a flashcard app with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to build this flashcard app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I figure we've been learning a bunch of like steady tutorial type things for a while. We haven't taken a step back and actually built something fun. So I figured in the next few videos, we'll go ahead and do that. And I figured we would build a flashcard app. We might do some math flashcards. We might do some states. We might do some state capitals. I don't know. We're just going to play with this and see. Right now, we're going to start by building out this basic uh, state flashcard thing. So we'll flash a picture up on the screen. In this case, a picture of the state of Texas here in America. Uh, you can type in the answer. If you're right, correct, that state was Texas, and then it flashes up the next one. Now we can make this more fancy if you like. We can do a pop-up box, or we can maybe move this down to a status bar, or we could flash up an image that says, yay, correct, you know, whatever, and then click next for the next card. Whatever you want to do, we'll play around with this and uh, leave your comments below this video exactly what you want to see, and then we'll see what we can do. So. This is a pretty simple little app, but it's going to allow us to put together a lot of the things that we've been talking about lately, specifically menus and frames and images and uh, stuff like that. We're going to be able to work on some logic here. If the answer is correct or not, we'll look at randomizing the images, how to do that. That's kind of interesting and uh, should be fun. So I think after we do that, maybe I'll move to state capitals because then we'll maybe we'll still show the picture of the state and say, you know, and maybe it'll say, like in this case, Nebraska, and then you'll have to enter the state capital. Or maybe we might have radio buttons with like three or four options so you can pick which one because nobody knows all the state capitals. It'd be hard to kind of guess by typing it in. But if you had like three or four to choose from, that might be fun. Um, I don't know. After that, we might do some math flashcards, you know, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, that sort of thing. I don't know. I'm just playing it fast and loose. We are under lockdown here in Vegas. So uh, everything's kind of quiet. And uh, yeah, let's, let's build something and have some fun. That's my opinion. So <laughs> that's what we're going to be working on. So I have created a, a new file called flashcards.py. It's the same basic starter code we've always had. I changed the dimensions to 500 by 500, make it a little bit bigger. Usually it's 400 by 400. You probably wouldn't even notice that. Uh, I changed the title to flashcards and I imported uh, from pill import image TK and image. We've looked at this before. This is how you deal with images with Kinter. So this you know, shouldn't be anything new to you. So in this video, I just want to spend the next, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so sort of building out the structure of the app. And then in the next video, we'll jump into sort of doing the actual uh, image flashcards and, and starting to actually create out that sort of thing. So the first thing we want to do is build out our menu at the top. So I'm going to, let's comment this out and let's say uh, create our menu. And I'm just gonna call this my underscore menu and set that equal to a menu. And we wanna put it in root, right? Our root window, which is just this guy right here. Uh, and then we wanna go root.config. And then we wanna set the menu to my underscore menu. So we've, we've done this before. So that's how to build the basic menu. Now, what do we want on our menu? So let's make a comment and let's go create menu items. And I think the first one we want, I'm going to call this geography or let's call it states. States? Yeah, let's call it states. States underscore menu. And that's going to be a menu and it's going to be on my underscore menu. Now, what do we want inside of that? Well, we want to go my underscore menu dot add underscore cascade. And then let's create a label. And now this is a under, uh, this is a lowercase L. It kind of looks like a capital L, but it's not. That's just what sublime text does. I'm not really sure why. And let's make our first label states, I guess. And then that's going to be in the menu of states underscore menu. 
and I'm just going to copy this. Ah, let's change this from states to geography. Yeah, I like this better. Geography. Yeah. Okay, so now we want a states menu dot add underscore command. So after we click on geography in the main menu and it drops down, what do we want uh, to show up there? So let's put a, a label and let's call this states, I guess, and then give it a command of states for now. And we'll make that command in a second. And let's uh, let's add another one, add underscore command. And let's give this a label. And I don't know, state capitals, maybe. I think we'll do that. And give this a command of, we'll just leave it at states for now. We'll change it to state capitals later. But I don't want to create that function just yet. Well, we can, we can create it. State capitals. Okay, and then I want to do a states menu dot add underscore separator, separator, put that line underneath it. And then after that, I just want to add an, one more command for now, add command, and that's going to be a label, oops, there we go. And the label will be exit. And the command will be root dot quit. Okay. So create menu items, let's say create geography menu items. So now we need to create this function. So I'm gonna come up here. Let's create state flashcard function. And so we can define states and I'm just gonna sit pass for now. And then we also wanna define the state capitals flashcard even though there's nothing there yet. So let's create state capital flash card function <laughs> and define state capitals and let's just pass. Okay, so we also need to create our frames and at this point we need two. So let's call this state frame and let's call the next one state underscore capital capitals frame, I guess. And it's a frame and it's gonna be in root and we want the width to be 500. We want the height to be 500. Okay, and we can just copy this whole thing and paste it in there. Okay, so what else do we wanna do? We want to run these two frames whenever we click on one of these two things so or one of these two things so we go up to the states function and we'll put that one there and we'll put this one here for now and we want to dot pack this in and we want to fill equals both we want to expand equals one so I can just copy this up here. Remember, fill and, and expand just takes your frame and fills it to the, you know, the width that, and the height that it's supposed to be, or the, uh, or as far as it can go, whichever, as you've sort of uh, told it to. We defined ours as 500 by 500, so it'll expand it into that. Okay, so we also need to kind of hide these frames. So if we click between these two things, you know, if we click on the states and then we click on the state capitals, we want to hide the previous one. So let's create a function to hide all previous frames. And let's call it define hide all frames. And what we want to do is state dot frame and state capitals underscore frame dot pack. Oops pack underscore forget and same thing here dot pack underscore forget and it's a function okay that was a lot of code let's save this and run it just to make sure uh, we didn't have any errors because I usually have errors so we got geography states states capitals nothing actually happens because we haven't put anything up yet so let's exit out uh oh name both is not defined line 18 what did I do? Oh, this needs to be 
in quotation marks. See, this is why we do this, so we catch the errors beforehand. <laughs> okay. So now let's just create a label, my underscore label, and set that equal to a label. And it is in state underscore frame, and the text will just equal something. <laughs> and we can just dot pack this on the screen. And let's do the same thing down here. Let's change this to capitals. And let's change this to states. All right, just to see that this is working or not. So let's come back here and run this again. So geography states, here it says states, geography state capitals, there it says capitals. So we need to do some more work there. What did we forget to do? We forgot to hide all frames when we call each of these functions. So right here at the top inside of each of these functions, we can do that. And let's comment this, hide previous frames, just, oops, just to make sure we're doing all of the nice commenting. Okay, so let's save that and run it. See what we have. Geography, states, states, state capitals, nothing. Something has gone horribly wrong again. Oh, state frame, this needs to be state underscore capitals frame. Okay, it's Monday morning. <laughs> it's rainy here in Vegas today, it's kind of dreary. That's odd, it's not, usually doesn't happen. We don't get much rain here in Vegas. Okay, so states and state capitals and states. Uh oh, now this is showing up a second time when it runs again, so we can fix that by looping through our winfo children function. We learned how to do this not too long ago, so we can say for widget in state underscore frame dot w info underscore children widget dot destroy. And we can copy this and do the same thing for our state capitals frame. Okay, so let's loop through and destroy all children in previous frames. And I see a typo already, w no, widget destroy should be a function, of course. Okay, so let's save this and run it, see if I screwed that up, because it's still Monday. So states, uh-oh, I did. And what did I do? Oh, of course, this is a function too. Okay, that should work now, right? Yep, still Monday. <laughs> All right, so states, states, state capitals, capitals. Now back to states again, states, now back to capitals. All right, so now we can flip through each of them and uh, we're good to go. Okay, so I think we'll stop right there. We've got sort of the basic framework that we can work with. In the next video, we'll jump in with our state flashcards and we'll start actually making the flashcard system. I'll show you how to throw up the images. You should probably already know how to do that, but I'll walk you through how I'm gonna do it and we'll set up the answer box, the form, the entry box that we can use to answer the questions and the, the button to actually submit the answer. And then we'll work on logic and all that good stuff. And uh, that'll be in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 90,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.